Hey folks, Ouroboros Principal here. Just thought I'd share a few of my thoughts with the internet. I recently went hiking, and while I was out there being inspired by all the music that is all around us, all the time in nature, I stumbled upon the conclusion through some thorough meditation and after reading some of the scientific literature that depression may be a byproduct of modern society now I know in my last video I talked about media morphology and how everything passes through portals, if you will, or media, and their chemical properties change. Now, if you apply that to the human psyche, and the fact that in this world we are living in, we are continuously and instantaneously distracted, bombarded, and plagued with a lot of negative energy in modern society. And while I was out there in the woods, I came to the conclusion that a lot of people need to get out in nature, go for a hike, and perhaps they can rewire the chemicals in their brain naturally through the principle of neuroplasticity. Now, I know that some of the scientific literature says that people are more apt to be mentally healthy if they work out outside if they spend time with animals, if they get out of the office, if they get out of the docile captivity, the unnatural lighting, the perpetual irritation and agitation from the electronics. And with that in mind, perhaps we as a society spend too much time on computers and it's time for us to recognize that the pharmaceutical industries they tend to sell us a product they tend to capitalize on a myth that is chemical imbalances see if you study the literature, you come to the conclusion that chemical imbalances in the brain is a myth perpetuated by the pharmaceutical industry to sell you pills, to create an imaginary problem or capitalize on depression as a byproduct of modernization. And unfortunately, most of us are disconnected from the primordial emanation that we all come from and we are all a part of. I heard a physicist say recently that the universe is naturally unified and superficially divided. And with that in mind, if you go back to the source and go take a walk out in the woods, 
you will trigger some of those ancestral memories that are sensoria had evolved with and around. So these are just some thoughts I thought I'd share with the world. And I know that sadness exists. I know that when you lose a loved one, you are bound to feel unhappy. That is natural, but the idea that you are incapable of stimulating the type of feelings and moods you want to feel is a myth. You have the power to change tomorrow.